inside of there. Yeah. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on posts notification so you don't miss any content from the channel now let's get into it and i'll see you on the next one next up we have dr scott mitchell and dr matt delgado what's going on guys dr scott here at life spring chiropractic in austin texas and today we are here with hannah i'm actually a local reporter and it's been um it's been tough i'm definitely hunched over the laptop a lot um i'm constantly out holding out microphones different things and i have just noticed tension throughout my body whether it's my hips or the middle back or my neck especially we always like to do a front view to be able to show you exactly what's going on it's messed up y'all <laughs> and then so we do a side view as well so one of the things we were seeing right off the bat was that you're leaning to one side right and i'll explain to you guys and i'll explain to you again of why that is mm -hmm. and then we're talking a lot about the neck pain is that as your neck continues to go forward you start to go from that normal c curve or what we like to call lordosis straighter and straighter and straighter and by correcting the pelvis it automatically allows us to start to correct everything going up so one of the things we notice right off the bat besides her posture and her leaning her body to the right is that as we come down oh you're good right there i'm just taking the slack out okay. so as i come down like this her right foot is oh, i'm sorry her right leg is about a half inch to three quarters of an inch shorter than her left but then when i come up like this we got them perfectly even. She's got some cool socks too. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tana, you were even saying that as I go like this, you yes. can feel some tension inside here as well, right? Yep. Nice, and then this is just the best position to put someone in, <laughs> to help free up. <laughs> it feels comfortable, right? No, kind of. I'm just kidding. Sometimes you can feel really tense inside here because it helps open up the joints called the SI joints, which are right inside here. And if the SI joint is really stuck, just by laying in this position, it can already start to feel like tension. Mm -hmm. You feel like that tight tension. Mm -hmm. And so all I'm gonna do is kind of roll you over and push it back to where it needs to go. And I will not drop you, because I've never dropped anyone. Right in there. Cool, so right on that joint, right in there. Cool, you're just gonna relax that, nice. Oh! Pretty cool? Yes, I'm scared. A little scared, right? I am. How would you describe that? I mean, release. Yeah. Just release. Like, even just doing this, though, I can feel how stiff my body is, yes. and that is so concerning. Yeah. Look, that's amazing, which is one little simple thing can do the entire body. Right. Yeah, so we're still short, so that lets me know that the sacrum on the other side is pushed backwards and needs to get adjusted. So you can see that. Yeah, so right there. So let's have you lay on your other side for me, please. Okay. Cool. And then you got to bend this one for me. And straight the bottom, beautiful. I'm gonna steal this, cool. Just like that, awesome. Nice, right in there. So it's kind of the same thing, I'm just having a different contact. So right inside of there. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, right? Whoa. <laughs> Let's have to go face down again so we can see the difference that we made. Your arms down, but yeah, down there, awesome. Cool, so now, Looking almost perfectly even, so that also lets me know we got more stuff to do up the spine that's affecting this. But yeah, looking even. Does it already feel a little smoother when I go like this? Mm -hmm, it actually does. Yeah, does it feel like uh, like almost just like like more like lubricate, like the joints yes. actually move? Right? Cool. And then what I want you to do is I'm going to curl up your arms nice and tight like this. There we go. Cool. And I'm just going to roll you over this way. This way, I just get right on the spine, right inside there. There we go. Now, we take a deep breath in. And then let it all the way out as I roll you back this way. Good. And then tuck your chin a little bit, too. Good. Oh! There we go. Boy! Felt it even start to move before I even did it, it right? It did. It was, like, slowly cracking. I feel like <laughs> a Christmas tree that's, like, snapping. So now I'm just going to try to find that spot. Yeah, right in there. Now I just kind of bring it over. Oh! There we go. Oh. Beautiful. Big breath in all up here. And then all the way 
watching the feet. So this way I'm just kind of seeing where there's a little bit of a give. So I'm just doing one little extra right there. Oh! There we God. go. Feel a little taller? Yes! <laughs> And what that does is it helps decompress the spine. Whoa. Sound those nerves. That was cool. Do you feel that all the way down? Yes. Yeah. That was let's see. We can even have you look down the ground again. And then while you're looking down, let's have you turn to the left. Nice. Then turn to the right. Cool. And let's have you look up at the ceiling. And then turn your head to the left. And then to the right. How did you describe that? A little different? So much easier. Yes. <laughs> Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. And we're gonna bring them both back into dorsiflexion to see if they're equal. And so, this feels like this is certainly out. So I'm gonna come into this spot here. It's funny because you do have a lot of flexibility, but I'm looking for the one spot that's not moving the way it should. Do you feel how this gets tightened here? Mm -hmm. So this side is very flexible. Do that. That one's fine. Okay, so let's go to the problem side now. Yeah, that one was supposed to be stationary. Like it, I don't even think about it, you know. Yeah, this one doesn't even have the mobility. Do so you see how this comes all the way up on the left? Yeah. And the right side doesn't dorsiflex as much, it doesn't come back because that bone's stuck. Here it goes. You feel it move? Yeah. There we go. There it goes, I moved it. You feel at the end it moved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was trying to create space there. Mm. That was scrunchy. That was pretty crunchy, wasn't it? Yeah. Did it feel okay? Yeah, I feel like a dessert. <laughs> okay. so I felt like a meringue. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> well, I watch a lot of baking shows. Oh. Now I'm going to have you slide over towards me. Slide over towards you? Yeah, just be on your back, but move this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to crisscross your arms. Okay. And I'm going to reach under and have your face turn this way. That place is always good so I can release your low back. Good. Hold on here. Mm -hmm. Put my hand in here. Touch your low back. Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. That was a good one. Oh, where that? was it? What? Where You're was up? that part? Yeah, there? It's right here at L5. Yeah, it's low. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the the main nerves come out of the lower back, yeah. form the sciatic nerve branch that comes down the back of the leg. Yeah, yeah. Through the glutes, through the hamstrings, calves, heel. Mm -hmm. So we need to get that That's released good. and get that nice. Yeah. You could feel that though, go. Yeah, yeah. Come this way. Same thing, different side. Yeah, exactly. We'll mirror image this way. And thank you. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to slip my hand under like this, mm -hmm. pull this up like this. Got it. That was a nice side. Yeah. It's more crunchy over there, or full of pop. You had a big pop there. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. Let me just see what this feels like now. Sure, fine. You must open them and pop them a little I bit. Always pop them. Yeah. Yes, none of these are stuck. These feel good. Come stand, see how you feel. Come on. 
<laughs> How's your neck? It feels better. I mean, this yeah. is better doing that. Yeah. Because a lot of the time this has been like limited. That hurt usually hurts really bad. Because a lot of the time I'm just trying to like walk my own hands up here like that to correct because it feels good yeah. and do this bend your knees both bend knees. knees okay push your knees together and i'm going to pull apart okay sometimes that'll pop the pubic bone in the front <laughs> i heard a little pop on yeah. the side oh it's so just weird. an old old school adjustment old hip <laughs> no that's fine so right in there, mm -hmm. you'll regret that you asked me about this. I am. So what I'm doing is I'm right here, up in here, and I'm digging in, and there's a nasty trigger point right there. Mm. That's it. So I'm right at the insertion. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.